What is up? What's up, DTube? What's up, Steam Blockchain? Today I want to talk about staking is the new mining. Staking being the new mining. So I heard about this and I, I've seen some cool projects lately that has made me think a little bit more about the aspect of staking. And I saw this cool project called, or from Vite Labs, and uh, I, I like to pronounce it wa wa White White Labs, but you know, but Vite is basically rapid in French, and uh, they're doing some cool stuff. They're doing some really cool stuff with staking, and uh, you know, check out what they're doing. Because they're building, it, it, for me, when I, when I observe it, when I use their products, it sort of seems like the, it is more, it is, the, it looks like they're innovating on the Ethereum concept. And, uh, you know, they used to have some cool stuff going on, uh, some, some cool, some cool plans with, uh, for example, a truly decentralized exchange um, with the, uh, this token that uh, you will get, that if you hold it, it uh, will um, the fees basically you get you get the fees are basically value. They are their Vita X token eventually, and uh, then they have the regular ecosystem. But you know, I want to talk more about that in uh, in another video. But yeah, I mean, what they, they're doing some cool stuff, but many of these things in the crypto space, it's, it's kind of hard to uh, explain it to someone because you need to have like an experience of, of testing some new product out. So if I, for example, say, oh, White Labs this, or Vite Labs, they, they do, they're doing some cool stuff. Uh, people, people have heard it so much now that they're sort of, they're sort of turning off new projects or new cool stuff because in many ways people sort of get into this mode of um, of the status quo and we even get this in in the crypto space where people think that it's also group think that we think that okay ethereum and bitcoin you know it, it's a sort of become this sort of status quo and it sort of seems like well, nobody else can do something better. I mean, this is this came first. This is the status quo. This is always what we're gonna use. But what's cool about this space is people are sort of innovating. Like people are sort of building their own blockchains. People are experimenting around. People. So a lot of the the coolest projects, they're not like they're not in the group thing consciousness yet, because they are people are not aware of it. This is with EOS when uh, when it was new or ethereum when it was new you know the the, the real cool stuff that happens in the present moment it, it's not something that is in the group thing collective consciousness and what Vit is doing with um, uh, the, the transaction speeds are amazing their apps are amazing their wallet apps are amazing and uh, you can even send transactions without using gas fee. So you just do some proof of work in your phone. And uh, what? I, and they're also dripping out tokens every day. They have amazing staking functions. They're gonna build their own Dex. Uh, it is. It looks like they have planned out a lot of things. And why I love them is because they are actually bringing more value to my life. They are working on the key things, uh, creating good services. <laughs> that, uh, that 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 um, that makes accessibility a reality, and and I can see that they're truly caring about what they're doing. Like I can see when I my own experience when I use their use their stuff that they're working on. That for now, stuff changes in this space fast, by the way. But for now, it looks like they are ahead of the curve. Okay, and. Um, yeah, but I want to talk also a little bit about staking being the new mining. Because I realized this with this project. And I'm not a financial advisor. I always like to say that. But, you know, staking being the new mining. I heard about that. And, I mean, it's really true. It really is true. For example, that because it's about resource efficiency. Okay? People care about the value. People care... 
who gives who innovates the most who gives the, the best service to the person right and that means that in this cryptocurrency space people can always innovate on top of innovation and disruptors that are disrupting the disruptors and it's just going to keep happening it's always because innovation is sort of speeding up so even the status quo, like the things that were co- that was cool in the cryptocurrency space a month ago, might already be old, and th- that is how this space goes. Because as we learn more, as we educate ourselves, as we discover new stuff, as we experience new stuff, and not just hear from other people, but when when we start to learn that the ups and downs, and when we experience new services, and we see that, well, the we. I've been in this space for almost two years soon, and it's only now you start you sort of starting to see what works, what doesn't work, and you you get an experience of of all of this and and where it's going. In, in the beginning, it's super annoying or super 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 complicated. It's uh, it was super it was really complicated to get to understand all these concepts of staking mining and can people make their own tokens and what does that mean with uh, the value system that we're using in the world and our ideas about money but now i really start to see it coming together how people are just going to move their value quite fast to the services that innovates the most and uh, Staking being the new mining. That means that basically people are going to move all their value to some some projects that is the most resource efficient. That just gives value to the person uh, and rewarding them for staying. Okay, staying with the project. In this global age, you constantly need to um, you constantly needs to need to care about people. And staking, getting rewards for it, is basically caring about people. And people, I don't think people will eventually, people are going to increase their standards. They're going to see, well, why should I have this coin when I can have this other coin staked and I can passively get more value? And this is something we see with Steam and EOS and this, uh, I think, DPoS chains, how they are how they're basically rewarding, like they're doing it the right way, where you truly feel like an owner and not just like you're holding, that you're waiting for a moon, but that you passively every day get something as a reward. It's, um, it's, it's, it's a way of truly building something long term. Because if you truly look at this space in the long term aspect, what happens in a day is not going to really matter that much. So it's not about like a massive spike in value. Because many people have started to see it in the last all-time high. The problems. Even if even if massive value gets created. Even if you create some ICO or something. You raise a lot of value. You need to get this value in people's hands. If it's not accessible for people... They're not going to experiment with it. They're not going to send it to their friends. They're going to be suspicious. So if you can create a value, or if you can create a system that slowly, low-key builds trust because people are getting something from you, then they, they, they're going to hang around. They're going to hang around and see what you're doing. And attention is really key in this age. Uh, people's attentions are very fickle. People move on. People move on quite fast if they find something that's just better especially now in the digital age it goes fast one day they're there next day they're gone they have found something better and right now the competition is not really high so a lot of people can come in and they are the new star okay Uh, but eventually this 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 space is going to be highly competitive and people are only going to gravitate towards services that gives most value, that can have like a proof of care. That they're, they're, and it's not just about dripping out tokens. I mean, it must be tokens of value. It must be real utility. And these scalability issues, these are the real, the bigger stuff with this space. Like, how do you scale? How do you increase people's willingness? How do you increase trust? And staking being the new mining I mean it's, it's gonna play a large role in this if people can 
if people can't even get rewarded for their attention, that they're just hanging around, that their eyes are worth some value, then that project has potential to innovate. Because when people are looking, they're giving their attention, they're giving their energy to a specific direction. And it has then the potential to grow. Because you have a liquid flowing system. And there are a few people or there are a few projects that uh, are not deep pulse chains where you have some tokens and you know you can reward someone else <laughs> and then you see your tokens goes down this is something that's uh, steam fixed where you have your steam power and that is yours it doesn't go away you have this reward pool to sort of fix that how people people don't want to people don't want to give away their steam power uh, they want to give away a reward pool right but eventually I think it's going to gravitate even more towards a system that, that, that an automated trust building system or it almost becomes like that when people get this you can almost you can almost call it in many ways taking the universal basic income even though we don't even know what that term means but I mean what is happening in in the, in the easy terms this is computing power Smartphones are getting faster, and uh, smartphones can process more. They're using the cloud more. This basically means that we can create better systems, and then we can create value, resource efficient, a well oiled, oiled machine that just drips out something to every person that has some level of attention and that has they have done something, proof of care, they're holding some tokens, whatever. It allows people to experiment. It allows them to experiment with liquidity when they constantly get some value. Not everyone has to prove themselves every second. It becomes it becomes more about abundance than basically when staking being the new mining. So this Vite Labs or Vit Vit Labs, oh my God, they're doing some cool stuff. One thing also that I've been thinking about, one thing that I've been thinking about is people also get into this mode that a lot of tokens are gonna matter in the long run. Uh, I don't buy that in, in, a, in a way because you can do so much, you, you're gonna be able to do so much. Wait, for example, when, when, when the demonetization happens, when almost everything becomes near free services and goods it means that just one dollar can give you massive value so even then staking in the future would be in when we get even better technology or something even staking is, is go, probably going to be an ancient concept and people are just going to move move on to something else they're probably going to look at staking as they're doing water right now I know that's uh, a little bit random to say because water is uh, sort of might be scarce in the future, so <laughs> and the electricity also. But people sort of people sort of gonna look at value as they're sort of doing water and electricity right now. Is this gonna be there? And then people are gonna look beyond. They they're gonna they're gonna expand their borders of ignorance. They're gonna expand their intelligence. And they're gonna, they're probably gonna do something more cool because humans are cool. Humans are cool. Humans are intelligent. And uh, and what happens if a person is not? If you remove the panic mode, like if every person gets something, you remove like the panic mode. People have a, oh, I had to do some some massive thing, right? They can just chill. And if they want to do something. They can do something, right? But it doesn't have to be this fast, lazy work. Or maybe you want to share some quick thing. That's all right. But I think more people are gonna invest more energy into either creating something really good that might be of value to other people, or you know, sometimes you won't have some fun, right? So I look at, for example, the Steam blockchain and. Use 1,000 steam, right? That is massive. Like that, that's a huge amount. And I would say 1,000 steam. That's actually a large account if you look at it in terms of the long-term aspect. I mean, that is 
that's really massive just because of what I said that well if everything becomes near free that means um, that means yeah 1000 steam that's, that's a lot of value because most people are gonna stake value in cool projects in interesting stuff and they're gonna gravitate towards stuff that cares about them and also people are gonna gravitate towards people that seems to seems to be doing something because people like inspiration people like to hear cool stuff and people enjoy like people intelligent people see when someone is not even trying when they're not doing anything and uh, they're gonna find it a little bit boring because people always want to push a little bit beyond their 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 sort of edge so to say but uh, yeah I wanted to talk a little bit about that and uh, it, for me personally, it's, it's super exciting. Uh, it's super exciting to to see who, what project is gonna be gonna innovate the most and it's gonna offer most value to the person. I I only you know I care about the value, right? So whoever can bring me more value, that's awesome. If it's Steam, US, Ethereum, Tron. <laughs> all these projects I see how they are they're all doing they're all doing they're all seeing different things they're all adding different things of cool stuff and the novelty is just is just fun the the, the tiny the nuanced differences in, in graphics in technology in in seeing intelligence how many different ways you can do things and it, it's gonna be probably a little bit annoying for the status quo even in the crypto space where people want to move to um, a specific uh, or they sort of want to people have this desire to stay fixed in uh, in mindset even when something better comes along we've been seeing this i mean when uh, you know let's take bitcoin and then we have steam that offers zero cost on, on transactions so but it's not in the group thing because it's almost like some things are too good some things are too good for group thinking also people need to people need to have time to adjust to a new reality a new paradigm it's, it's going to take 10 20 years for people to sort of take stuff in take it into their subconscious and even the conscious aspect of themselves and sort of let them consider things. Let them themselves look at things because people are intelligent and I think that a big thing is probably gonna be in the future to just allow people to allow people's truth come out because humans are really intelligent beings. They adapt fast, they learn quick, they see what works, they see what doesn't work, and uh, and it's cool. So yeah, go, going back to this a little bit about this idea of like having massive tokens yeah I really don't think it's gonna matter that much because as long as you get some tokens in something that you love per day it's more about having fun and there's deep satisfaction for me at least seeing transactions and seeing passive tokens being uh, dripped out and it's really about humans also learning about it really is about an, uh, the experience having fun uh, and the process of doing stuff yeah it's kind of cool life is kind of cool lots of stuff happening and uh, it's quite inspiring yeah so let's see yeah have an awesome day DTube have an awesome day. Steam blockchain. Bye.